Want to create a super realistic fire in Blender? Let's do it. Start by adding a sphere and press F3. Type Quick Smoke and select it. Now scale and move the container up. Select the sphere, head over to the settings and change the flow type to Fire. Set the fuel to 2 and under Flow Source, bump up the surface emission to 1. Activate the texture, go to the texture settings, add a new one and select Cloud. Then increase the contrast under colors to 5 and change the size to 0 0.1. Back in the fire settings, select the texture you just created. Now select the container, change the cache type to modular, and crank up the resolution. The higher you go, the more detail you get, but remember, you'll need a stronger PC. Enable adaptive domain for faster caching. Under Fire, reduce the speed to 0.5 and set Vorticity to 0.1. Set your cache length and hit Bake. This part might take a bit. Once it's done, switch the render engine to Cycles. In the Shading tab, add an Attribute node and name it Heat. Use a color ramp and connect it to the Emission Strength. Tweak the colors, add a third, darker color at the end, and set the density to zero. For the fire's color, use another color ramp and plug it into the Emission color. Choose your fire color, and to make it brighter, add a math node set to multiply. And there you have it, a super realistic fire in Blender. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Blender tutorials, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next one.